everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today I'll be checking out Weekly's music video for their remake of Love originally by Brown Eyed Girls. Now this is in collaboration with the whole Kim Anna project. In case y'all not are familiar with Kim Anna, I feel like you should start uh, too because Kim Anna has beh been behind Another uh, amazing song by Brown Eyed Girls called Abra Cadabra back in the day, as well as Good Day by IU. Just an incredible individual and lyricist, I've got to say. And even took part on the lyrics for a weekly song called Butterfly. So, yeah, this is great to see them collaborate together on such a classic uh, uh, song. So I'm really interested, right, in how this is gonna play out in terms of this remake. Like, I'm sure they kept a lot of the originality to it. And I'm wondering, like, vocally, how it's gonna be done uh, too. So with that being said, guys, enough talk. Let's just dive into the music video for the remake of Love by Weekly and the Kim Anna Project now. All right, so I brought it up here. Weekly and the Kim Anna Project remake of Love, of course, originally by Brown Eyed Girls. Unfortunately, English captions are not readily available, but let's go. And the piano here. Ooh, quite the... Um, this is the right word rustic, but... The setting here, like in much of a older style uh, kind of house. <laughs> Ooh, the classic VHS camcorder though. We've seen them use these before. I think in their music videos in the past, right? Twice or three times. Oh, Sujin! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, they kept the rap in this too. Mmm. Wow. They really kept. A good amount of the originality of the song, like the stuff that I know or re can recall. And just how they bring it back together. It's so good. V. <laughs> But in this, I definitely feel like the hi-hats and the strings are more distinct. I'm sure, these days. With technology, right? The music production. The quality of music has grown a lot over time, duh, but... <laughs> so when... Oh, so good. Like, the vocal work in this does so much justice to the song. So much justice, I can't emphasize that enough.
And yet again, honestly, it's been a minute since I felt this way. Weekly is one of the few groups, one of my top favorites, but one of the few groups that really got me smiling and got me my cheeks sore every time I see them. Ah, uh, dailies. Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. Like, they got the aesthetic down in this, right? The, with the, the whole camcorder, but also the old style kind of house that hasn't been obviously renovated. It's just like the setting of it. The classic, like, you know, appliances and all what's going on setting. I, I feel like it's very fitting for this remake, and um, everything went well hand in hand together, right? Uh, uh, more so w these days we call it retro because it's it's th this was going on back then in terms of styling and everything, and <laughs> I I am so 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 uh, honestly blessed today to hear this and see this, you know, because this is. I feel like the, we need to give second gen and the early gen groups and artists more justice, you know, more appreciation. Have you ever uh, saw those like special stages and you're like, wow, I remember those good times when I first checked out this song or your first time checking out this song as uh, the song thanks to this special collaboration stage or, or stage performance or a remake such as this. This is why we need more of this, you know, don't forget how really K-pop started, like the people that paved the way, who did the first footsteps to make the, the Hallyu wave, the K-pop wave for what it is today and to really lead and, you know, lay the foundations for the groups that we love, the artists that we love to this day, you know what I'm saying? So I got to give it to Kim Anna, and I got to give it to Weekly for this. And uh, hopefully there is, surely there is um, a, a, the studio version of this on like Spotify, Apple Music, all platforms, hopefully. And also there's this one song that I've been waiting for because I haven't covered it yet on the channel here. Hold up. It's called Airplane Mode. And it's produced by Lee De Dehui. Um, and I'm familiar of his works in the past. Like, he comes through with really good music. And uh, I don't I don't exactly know the date. I'm going to have to find out myself uh, here on my own time. Uh, but when that fully releases, I'm going to go crazy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be patiently waiting for that next comeback uh in the future i wouldn't mind them taking the retro route uh with it it doesn't have to be fully retro and uh fully similarly to uh like this uh uh song uh, called love by brown eyed girls but man this was so refreshing and this was like a blast in past time or whatever this took me in a time machine and i was like whoa and at the same time made me a bit uh felt a bit old you know what i'm saying i mean by no means i wasn't like at a time where i was like able to use a vhs i think i was a baby and we still had the vhs in the house and all that stuff probably when i was like six and stuff like that uh these camcorders and all but uh yeah this is not the first time we i was about to say you know it's like to think yeah you know some of the members here probably or good a lot of them didn't grow up with a camcorder around the house and all but uh we've seen them work with the camcorder uh in the past before for special music videos right and i believe even for after school if i recall uh correctly so it's really cool to see um the efforts put behind this project the kim enna project and kim enna herself because uh, I feel like we need to get more of this, not simply just by the Mnet M2 channel with relay dances, uh, and not simply by having those mid uh, quarter or year end uh, special award performances or wait for that 10th anniversary or whatever. Just come through with some throwbacks, you know, and 
do justice to them, right? Showcase what's up, you know, and uh, what maybe some of y'all been missing, you know? So, wow, the nostalgia uh, that I've felt from this. All in all, so good, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna go through it again. I'm just gonna watch it on my own time, but that's pretty much my thoughts. I didn't really wanna do a full-blown review today, as I know how this song pretty much goes. No, no, nothing too crazy, but most importantly, I love how they kept the originality to it. The things that I love and know about this song, the amazing rap lines in this, a good amount of rap lines too in this, and the unison kind of vocal work where all the members of brown Eyed girls bring it back together and it's like sort of this dance fun dance track uh to jam along to not too upbeat not too slow with it but you know the right tempo to jam along to but take care as always guys be sure to like share maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so so much it just warms my heart connecting with fellow dailies in the comment section down below and as always have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are and peace